Welcome to The Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today we're joined by Chef Robert Weedmeyer. Well, Glad to have you so back. Well, it's so good to be back. It's great to have you here. Well, you know what? This is a fun place to be. And we are revved up. You about, know why we're about, revved about up? About the Revel? The Revel Resort. Yes. Brand new, spectacular resort that's opening on in Atlantic City, right on the boardwalk. You will be featured there. I will be. And you know, it's going to be something that I've been working on for four years with them up in the, this Revel Resort. And it's going to be a muscle bar. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna feature lots of muscles, obviously. Yes. It's going to be casual, yet elegant, and a lot of stimulation. And well. lots of open kitchen, and entertainment, right. and lots of great food, featuring not only seafood, but your meats, which you're known for as well. Right, right, right. And just a really vibrant energy there. So it's going to be total stimulation. I'm so excited. Because when you walk in there, you're going to see all my chefs cooking in an open kitchen. We're going to have a live stage with rock and roll music. We, we hung my chopper above the bar. It's fantastic. We've got 150 Belgian beers on a wall across there, and, and four cast systems that are pump beer from Belgium. And obviously, we're going to have a great wine list and champagne list. Robert Weedmeyer expo explodes in New Jersey. I we hope love so. that. I okay. hope so. So what we're going to do today, Tina, is I, you know, because we're going to be in the muscle bar, I thought we would do today, we'd do a muscle dish. Sure. Uh, and we're going to do a, a dish that I love from the southwest part of France, down the Mediterranean area down there in Provence. The mussels are coming from, from Prince Edward Island. Excellent. So I go through with my restaurants. I sell a lot of mussels in Bravo at the Kimpton Hotel. Yes. And uh, the Muscle Bar, obviously in Bethesda. Right. Well, the original Muscle Bar, your, your baby. It was, in, it was in Bethesda, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And essentially, so, you're recreating this and putting it on steroids. That's right. It's Atlantic the Muscle City. Bar on steroids. So these are the mussels here. You know, when you're looking at mussels, you've got to be really careful, you know, that, that, that they're fresh mm -hmm. and that they smell good. You know, you got to smell, put your, it's got to smell like the ocean. It can't smell... Mm -hmm. One bad muscle will spoil a whole party. Okay. All so right. if there's one bad guy in there, the party's over. Party's over. Everybody's leaving. All right? I get it. That's a good So great, those are the muscles life. there. Should smell like the sea. It should smell like the sea. It should smell fresh. Okay. So we have the muscles here. We have a baguette here that we're going to slice and we're going to rub with this garlic. And we're going to toast that off. And we're going to make a rui, which is a mayonnaise based with, with roasted garlic and chili to put on top of that. Great. And then for the sauce, it's you know, it's this is gonna be a one pot, a one pot special. So we're gonna take shallots, which we have here that are chopped very fine, the garlic that's chopped up, the tomatoes, uh, the butter, the capers, a little bit of white wine, and we're gonna marry all those flavors together with Niswa olives from, from obviously France. from France. Yes. And then we're gonna present this to the guests. So when this comes out to the guests, it's gonna be open up Steaming and you're gonna get hot. you're gonna get like a whole aroma of a facial. So you're serving it right in, right in the, the pot. pan you're cooking it. That's fabulous. Right in the pot. Right. So Let's get started here. All right, let's okay, go. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is make a mayonnaise. And this is okay? your rui. Which is a rui. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use three eggs, and we're going to use Separate. two egg yolks. Okay. And one whole egg. So we just separate that, this. And take that for Voila. You know, mayonnaise is one of those things that, you know, is, um, it's so much better when you make it fresh. What cl you you know, and, and, it's, and it's really easy. And a lot of people get scared about making this, but really all it is is whipped egg yolks and, and oil. Okay. So what we have here is we have the three eggs and we're gonna whisk this. Okay. Okay. And then what I'm gonna ask you to do yes. is pour this vegetable oil into this nice and slow. Great. I have the easy job. That's not that easy. You I'm, have I'm, the gonna make, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure you do it right, nice and slow. <laughs> You tell me when to begin. I'll tell you one second here. So we're getting that nice and aerated. Okay, just start pouring that in nice and slow. Okay. How is that? Is that okay? That's good, just like that. And what that will do, it'll start to thicken up, as you can see already. Yes. And this, and you know, this is what makes a, a great, you know, dish down in the south of France is making a, a good rui. Okay. You know, you use that in bulla base. Yes. You know, you put this on a piece of toasted baguette. It's been rubbed in garlic. It's just phenomenal. Classic French technique. Exactly. Utilizing, right? That's exactly right. All right, see how that's thickening up now? Yes. We're going to keep going. Now, the rest of this dish, after we do this, this is going to go really fast. I mean, okay. as long as you have your mise en place or your your prep work done, right. if you're doing this at home, everything in this you know, place. you can feed you can feed 10 people doing this muscle dish very easily with two big pots of this. And see now it's starting to get that ribbon effect. Chef, how long can you store the mayonnaise after it's been prepared? I mean, you can keep it a couple days. but In the refrigerator? Yeah, keep it in the refrigerator. So there we go. See, now we're getting that consistency. Okay, that's good. That good? 
You don't want it too thick and you don't want it too loose. See, that's the thing about cooking is getting it right on the point. Yes. Not to the left, not to the right, but right on the point. Is that a typical concept to teach to, you, to the people who work for you? Well, you want to teach that because, you know, running a good restaurant, running or executing food properly is all about getting it right. Yes. And it's easy to make, there's so much room for error in cooking. Absolutely. I mean, something can be cooked too long, you know, on one side, not seasoned enough. Well, you, you must do a good job because you enjoy exemplary reviews in all of your restaurants. We try to get good reviews. You do. I mean, you have a winner in Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia. Yes, Bravo is a great restaurant. Yes. Chris Watson, my executive chef there, has been with me for a long time, and he's doing an exceptional job at the restaurant. Alexandria, the Old Town, I was there for the first time a few months back, and it is such a charming, it really is. charming town. It's and an it's oasis. so close to D.C. Yeah, I, that's the beauty of it. You, you forget that you're in the bustling, you know, you really capital do. of the country. It's like, five, it's like a 10 minute drive into D.C. Yes. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of the Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen. So, garlic cut in half. Okay. We're gonna rub these baguettes like this. So you essentially took the whole head. Right, the whole head and you're okay. gonna rub these. And then what we're gonna do is just let this sit here for a little bit, because we're gonna do these last. Okay. We just want this to, to kind of take in the flavor of the garlic. You, you always know, make great grilled bread on our show. I do. Like when we did the beef carbonara. Yeah, oh, I never Remember forget that? that dish. That was like my favorite you know, dish it's, that we it's, did. It's, uh, you know, have to have something crunchy. Yeah, to go with a the, liquid. Right. To dip something to into To dunk like it that. in there. Yes. Now we're gonna move over here to the mussels, the star of the show tonight. Okay, so we don't want it on a, a real high flame. We just want it kind of, just okay. a little bit more than that. Just like that. So medium. Because we're gonna let this sweat. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of butter. So we got the butter cubed right here. Is this unsalted butter? Unsalted butter. Mm -hmm. Put this butter in here. We're gonna let that sweat a little bit. What I mean by sweat is when we put the garlic and the shallots in here, we don't want to brown them. Okay. We just want them to, you know, car not caramelize, but just get maybe? translucent and marry the flavors together. Okay. So then we're gonna take two tablespoons of garlic. And you can't go wrong with garlic and no, mussels. Isn't it the truth? Garlic maybe we'll put and three mussels. in there. We we'll put four in there. That's good. <laughs> Everybody likes garlic. Robust. So we're gonna let those, you know. Sweat in there. We're gonna add the chopped shallots. Okay. It's great you're taking a, a dish indicative of the Mediterranean coast and bringing it to the Atlantic coast. Yes. At the you know, it's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, you know, we're calling it ACDC. Oh, I love you know? that. I didn't think of that. ACDC. That's fantastic. Rock and roll, and I'm in DC and I'm going that's to AC. Right. Well, you have, how many restaurants do you have now? You well, have I have Marcel's, which was my first one. Marcel's? That's 13 years ago. That's on Pennsylvania wow. Avenue. Then named after your oldest son. My oldest right? son. Then I have Brasserie Beck on 1101K, which is named after my second son. And then Bravo was just a name, a fictitious name from Belgium. Named after a statue, correct? Well, Bravo was, was a soldier that slayed. Antigone, see this right here? The giant here. It's a great picture, by okay, the way. Okay, this was designed for me for in Belgium with this beer here. We came up with this beer and we sell it at all the restaurants and a lot of different stores now. But Bravo was the soldier that cut his hand off when the giant said, give me your money. He said, sure, boom, there goes your hand. And to, in Flemish, it's Antwerpen, which means okay. to throw the hand. Wow. And in French, you call it Envers. Flemish is Antwerpen, to throw the hand. That's an interesting story. Yeah. So all the restaurants kind of tie into that. Yeah. That Belgian. Sure. They smell that. You got the shallots. You got the garlic. Everything just sweet shallots. Everything just going in there really well. Pungent garlic. Now what we want to do here is we're going to add in these tomatoes now. Mm -hmm. What and I did have... is I got some basil there, but okay. I got these tomatoes. We have 15 just... minutes, chef. Good. We're going to put those right in there. Excellent. Now these are just cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. We just roasted them off in the oven a little bit. Okay. A little bit of herbs de Provence. Okay. Excellent. Now you mentioned Belgian beer with your fantastic story. Tell us a little bit about what is going on with Belgian beer at Muscle Bar. Well, at Muscle Bar, at Muscle Bar in Bethesda, we have a lot of Belgian beers. We also have a lot of Belgian beers going into the Revel at the Muscle Bar. There, we're going to have over like 200 Belgian beers. So now I've got this here. I'm going to add a little bit of red wine. I mean, a little bit of white wine Excellent. from the south of France. How many seats at, uh, at the Muscle Bar in AC? It's going to be 260 seats. Wow. So it's gonna, be, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a big restaurant. 7,000 square foot restaurant, correct? Yes, 7,000 square feet. We have 120 employees. There's gonna be 16 restaurants in the Revel. Um, from here in Philadelphia, Jose Garces is gonna be in there yes. with me. From Washington, D.C., Michelle Richard. 
from New York, uh, Mark Frogion is going to be there. And it's really a destination resort. I, I know it there's going to be a four-story nightclub in the right. Rebel, and right. all of the rooms have ocean views. That's right. All of that's a very important uh, point. And a private beach, and, and five pools, beach, yes. and three music venues. And if you take my music venue, because we're going to do that too, that's actually four. That's right, because you're so having we're live, have music live music in late the restaurant. Night. Exactly. Tell us about the beer wall. You were explaining to me the beer a wall bit is about like the five feet or no eight, ten feet tall. And it's going to be about as long as this wall, which is probably, I'd say, 12 feet long. And you're going to have, you have to actually get on the ladder, right? Yeah, you got to get on the ladder the to, get, yeah, to get the beers. It's fantastic. Okay. It's, it's going to be great. Now that we're right here, we're going yes. to add the mussels to it. So our tomatoes have cooked and blended cooked. nicely with the shallot and yep. garlic. And we're going to add these in here. Time to add the mussels. So we're just, not about right there, it's about okay. just about a pound of mussels. Right. So that's enough for like one person or two people, depending on... You know, how much you want to eat. Sure, depending on how okay. you are. It's been a good so, day at the beach. Now we're going to add a little bit more wine to this because it's starting right. to reduce down. And this is the white wine. The white wine. Excellent. Now the beauty about this dish is it all cooks in this pan. From here on in, we don't have to do much. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen. We're gonna add our Niswa olives. Okay. Okay. Those are gonna go right in here. Now, is this is this your own recipe? Did you did you guess? Yes, I kind of just made this up. Yeah. You know? That's the thing about being a chef. You kind of just go over with your instincts and your flavors. And, and inspiration, and I Inspirations of what you see, and then mm -hmm. you know it's not that this hasn't been done before. Probably, I'm sure someone's you know most of the things have been done already. It's who can do it the best is the key to the game. There you go. So we're just gonna add a little bit of cream in here. That's different to yeah. add cream. Yeah, just a little bit. I like a little bit of cream. Little rich. Yeah, it just brings it all in. And then I'm just going to put a little bit more butter in here. And then the beauty of this, these mussels are just going to steam right in here. And when they are when they open up, they're done. Okay. Wow. That's we'll hit it last with the basil. The okay. top goes on. Okay. And then we and just you, wait you for can, them to open, correct? You can watch them cook there. So while that's good. going on, I need a pan. Perfect. This is what I love about right. right. Steve's kitchen here and your kitchen team. You got everything right here. And we barely even moved. You know, maybe so, one step. <laughs> so basically, what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of the oil. You can use a nice olive oil. Okay, nice light olive oil. Okay. And we're gonna toast this. this Great. One, we're gonna serve with our mussels. Okay. I know we're cooking mussels today, but I, I always like to remind you of this when you're on the show. Uh, I always remember how you educate your staff on the whole animal. Like oh, that's yeah. a part it's of big. what you do. It's a big part of what, what you know Beef what chefs do is like is, is knowing the where the, where the product's coming from. Try to buy sustainable. You can all these words to to be. You've been doing this for <laughs> years before these buzzwords became right. commonplace. Right. Now, which they are commonplace, right. which they are commonplace. But this is something you've been doing years. It, years most ago. of the chefs that have been around for a long time have been practicing whole animal butchery, sustainability, organic, trying to find the best farmers around. Mm -hmm. That's what we've always done. It's become a very it's become very chic nowadays. Sure, but and it's also it's and it's a good thing that these younger chefs and they're teaching this in the schools that people are you know making these applications into their restaurants. Okay, so we're just going to shake this a little bit. You can see when the muscles are starting to open up. Yeah. See yes. that? I love how the shells they gather that nice cream. Yes. And that, that tomato infused broth. It's all that you it's made. all cooked. It's all marrying in there together. Now we got our roux here, so we're going to take a little bit of this. See, how it's not a real thick no, mayonnaise. It's soupy. So it's kind of, you know. It and you want it to be that way. Yeah, correct? I do. I do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of chili. I okay. like a little bit of chili into this. So and I this, have is, that. this is a classic Rui with a little chili, correct? Yes, it is. It is. Well, where did I put it? Here it is here. We're just going to put a little bit in there. We're going to okay. mix that up. Okay. And then we're going to serve this on the baguette. Okay. Excellent. Or you can just dip that in there. If you're doing this, you can just make this and dip that bread right, right in there. Right into that broth. Okay, now I'm going to turn this off because th these are done now. Those are finished. So okay. now our bread's toasting, and we're almost ready to eat here. Awesome. All right. Okay, we're going to have our basil here. I'm just going to chop this basil up. We're going to add this last. You always want to add these herbs last because the oils and everything come out nicely. Let me do that. I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to put this in there. Sprinkle we're going to hit a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Another thing that I don't typically see, Parmesan cheese. No, I, li I like it like this. I think it's just awesome. You can suck the shells. Everyone loves Parmesan you know? cheese. If you don't like Parmesan Everything cheese. Everything is better with Parmesan cheese, don't you I think? I think so. <laughs> I, I, I would agree. 
Okay, there we go. See how this is coming along? Good, it's gonna start browning there. And we are almost, see how easy that was? That was fantastic. And one dish. One it's dish. The ultimate non-messy meal. And, and the, th the cool thing about it is, it's all right here. So Tina, these mussels now are just marrying in together all the flavors, the capers, the, the uh, shallots, the garlic, the miswa mm. olives, the cream, the butter, the mussel juices that are like seeping out from the mussels here. Mm. It's all come together to a nice real broth and that's why it's important to have really good bread. Sounds or so sexy. Or really good pommes frites, you know, good, good french fries to, yes. dip the, to dip those in there in here. But we're gonna do the baguette, which I love doing too. Stay tuned, we'll be back with more from the Chef's Kitchen. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen. As you can see here, this is, you know, crisping up. While this is doing that, what I like to do, since we got a little bit of time, let's yeah. try this in this Belgian beer. This is a very interesting beer. You're gonna get, you know, some of your um, nuances of like orange. Yes. That come out of this and coriander. Obviously, you know you a can, lot about. You can do, you can do either with these mussels, you can drink a really good beer, or you can have a really good wine. Okay. So, or you can do both. You know, Why not? Most of my friends will just do both. <laughs> you know, so we'll just pour this in here, try this. You know, and every, every Belgian beer has its own glass. What makes the beer for you? This, you know, the, what makes this beer for me is that it's not too strong and it's, um, it's you know, some beers are just so overpowering, some of the Belgian yes. German beers. This has got a really nice First of all, you get a lot of head. Yes. And then it's got a really nice flavor to it. That it's you, lighter in color. It's lighter in color. It's not heavy beer, but you can drink You can drink this, and it can sit there and actually get warm and still taste good. Okay. 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 So it's actually good warm. Well, you can That's drink it. Amazing. I wouldn't suggest drinking warm, but you can, you know, well, you you can, can drink you it cellar temperature. It. Okay. 58, like a, like a good bottle of wine. It doesn't have to be it doesn't icy. doesn't have to be ice cold. Okay. So try this. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Mm, it's Tasty. actually, oh, it's got a great taste. On the back the end. the palate, right. And it would it's actually, it's going to go very well with those mussels. It's light. Um, it's a little sweet in the beginning, but then it's got a nice little kick at the end. Right. I like right. that. And even at this temperature and it's not really cold, you can drink this. You can drink that yeah. whole bottle, in fact. Can you cook mussels with this beer? Absolutely. We do that with uh, a lot of mussels at the restaurant. I'm sure that's a lot of we're fun gonna, to We're going to have an Antigoon mussel recipe at Revel okay. and at Muscle Bar in Bethesda. Now, I mean, now for us, I, I am, I'm enjoying beer as of late. I'm enjoying trying beer and tasting new beers. I think it's a lot of fun. I mean, for, for you know, us who are learning our way around, you know, we go to the Muscle Bar. Right. You know, your bartender is going to help us out. I mean, we get to sit around, right? That's right. It's an open kitchen. That's right. And we we're going to have... We have this fantastic Belgian beer wall. And obviously, I suppose your bartenders are going to be educating oh, to help yeah, people like me out. We're, we are all over educating people on, because there's a huge beer cult out I there. I know. And a lot of people, I was amazed at how many people know already a lot about beer. So, but our staff is going to be very well versed on, on, you know, obviously on the beers, on the wines, on the food. It's to help us navigate. To get to navigate through that. Perfect. Back to our bread. Okay, so our bread now is nice and crisp here. Okay, the mussels are done. Great. And what we're going to do here is, if this was the table... And you were the waiter. Yes. This is heavy. You might not be able to pick it up. But I think you can. Right. Feel how heavy that is. Let me see. She's got it. So you would carry that Try right it. over here. You want okay. to carry it? Sure. You would carry it right over there. Now, if there's five or six people at the table and they all have muscles, yes. nobody opens up that top until everybody's there. So okay. you, get, you literally get this muscle facial. Okay? <laughs> I love right? that. A muscle facial. facial. So <laughs> now we have our bread here. We have our rui. That's spiced up a bit. Great. I'm going to take this. I'm going to just take a little bit of this and put this on the bread. Just run it mm. along there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open fabulous. this up. Now, you want to get, you get close in there, see? I Smell want that, that facial. This is going to make me look 10 years younger, right? Then you, yes, it will. <laughs> as well as tasting superb. And you stick that there, and you've uh, got a meal. That's huh? fantastic. That's a party and a pan. It is. And I love throwing the Parmesan cheese on there. Yeah. You know, it's a little different. Unexpected. It, as you see, you know, the mussels are open. Mm. You got all your, you know, the, the, the butter, the Look cream, the, the olives. And I, I was telling you earlier, we put no salt in this at all. No. Because between the Niswa olives, the capers, and the Parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. it, it brings all the salt in it. You didn't need to add any salt. No salt. Let me just grab, I'm going to grab a little bit of everything you have in here. Mmm. Mm. And with dipping that bread in there, 
which I'm going to do next. You know, mm -hmm. so Wash good. it down with some of this Absolutely. fantastic Cheers. Belgian beer. How many times have we done this now? Oh, what, a few? Four or five? When do you do it more? Mm. You know, that goes, I love that goes really beer well, with this. It goes really well with this. Right? We both had the same yeah. reaction. Yeah. I love the beer with this. It goes really well. And I want to taste your yeah. baguette slices with the Rui. Put some of that beautiful juice right on top mm. of there. Wow, that is a reason to celebrate. That's good. You're opening in the Revel Resort. Best of luck to you. I can't wait to Thank see you, you down so there. Thank you so much. Well, you gotta come. I you will live absolutely. Nearby. I do, and and I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. So good. again, it's a pleasure to have Thank you here. You. As always, just Thank such a very much. vibrant personality. Well, let's you take you bring it out of me. Thank you so much for sharing your wares here in the chef's kitchen. Cooked something from the show? Went to a restaurant that you loved? Found a place serving innovative cocktails or impressive wine? Become a fan of The Chef's Kitchen on Facebook and share your thoughts. Flowers on the set provided by Nature's Gallery Florist. Distinctive floral arrangements with European flair. For the viewer who is passionate about food and wine, The Chef's Kitchen provides tips and techniques from the country's most exclusive restaurants. Tune in next time to see one of the nation's top chefs such as George Perrier, Roberto Donna, Jose Garces, Michael Schlau, or Tony Clark as they share their culinary talents and unique creativity. Learn how to make the delectable dishes and hip creations they're serving in today's restaurants or impress your family with a culinary twist on tonight's dinner. Check our website for listings in your area or today's recipe. This kitchen, it's all, I mean, I, I, Steve, I've been up here, I don't know, five, six times. I love cooking this kitchen. You got, it's very well organized, okay, which is huge for a chef that's coming into a kitchen that they normally don't know, that everything is right at your hands here. Like, I need, where's the pan? Boom. Where's this? Right there. Everything's right here. You got great assistants, great staff. You make it very easy for chefs to come up here and produce what they would normally produce in their professional kitchen. So thank you.